In this video, we're gonna show you the top five handheld diagnostic scan tools for Honda in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and function each of these tools have. We'll put links to all of these kits in the description and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easy for you to find them. You do need to be careful though, because fakes and clones are on the market. They do exist and they can damage your vehicle. So by using the links below, it'll take you to the genuine and official product. And at the end of the video, I'll show you which of these tools I would personally buy with my personal money for my personal Honda. I'll also show you a really, really high-end tool at the end of the video, just as kind of like a bonus tool. So uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But I've learned a lot about these tools. I know quite a bit about these tools, haven't had the opportunity to use them. But if you're still un unsure at the end of the video which tool to go for, then by all means, send us an email. I'll pop the email address in the description below. Send us your vehicle information and we can get back to you with a recommendation for your needs and requirements. Okay, so we're gonna start at this end of the table. This is the iCarsoft MHM version 1.0. It's it, MHM stands for Mazda, Honda, and Mitsubishi, okay? Um, and this will cover all of the main systems in your vehicle, things like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission. Um, so if you've got any of those warning lights, this will allow you to diagnose and reset those. It also covers other systems in the vehicle, things like power steering, central locking, HVAC systems, aircon, things like that, okay? It does live data as well, so you can do live, you can look, view live data from all of those systems. And also it gives you one service function. You'll hear me talking about service functions throughout this video. The more advanced the tool, the generally the more service functions we get, but we'll cross that when we, when we need to. So uh, this does the oil service reset and the diagnostic code reading for all of the main systems, okay? So that's the MHM version 1.0 tool. We then move on to the, what's called the JP version 2.0 tool. This covers a few more vehicles, so it, it covers all Japanese and Korean vehicles, okay? Um, but it does everything that this tool will do, but it has more service functions. So whereas this tool did all of your diagnostics and one service function, this does your diagnostics the oil service and other service functions. So those include DPF regeneration, electronic park and brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding, and ABS brake bleeding. It's important, important for me to say though, that it does those systems and those um, service functions, but not on all Honda vehicles, okay? So it's very important for me to point that out. So if you wanted to make sure that one of those service functions did work on your Honda, then please do send us an email with your VIN number and we can check that for you, okay? We'd hate for you to buy the tool and find out that it wasn't gonna be suitable for whatever it is you needed it for, okay? So that's the JP version 2.0. We then move on to the JP version 3.0. This is a little bit more advanced than this tool. It's a little step up in price, but a huge step up in coverage and diagnosis diagnostics and service functionality. So it does everything that these do, plus it's a bi-directional scan tool. So it does actuation tests, it does calibration, it does component testing, suspension calibration, transmission adaptions, air conditioning resets, engine adaptions, and other adaptions, things like seat matching, headlight adaptions, calibrations, you name it. So this is a really, really good step up in uh, hardware. You can see it looks a little bit different. Um, but because it's got better hardware, it can house better software. So um, it is, a, a, for a small price, it's a big step up in diagnostics, okay? That's your JP version 3.0. Again, it does all of your Japanese and Korean vehicles, okay? We then move on to the CR Pro kit which has been a good tool for a number of years, a good seller for a number of years, purely because of the, um, the scope of the manufacturer coverage. It does a lot of manufacturers. So let's say you've got a Honda vehicle, but you also have like, I don't know, an Audi, a BMW, a Mercedes, then this tool is gonna to cover all of those. It covers all manufacturers. It matches the service functionality of the, G of the, uh, the version 2.0 tool. So it's gonna do your DPF regenerations, your electronic park and brakes, things like that, but it does them for all manufacturers. Same applies though, if you wanted to make sure a specific service function worked on a specific vehicle, then please do use the email address, send us your VIN number, and we can do that check for you and get back to you and let you know if it's gonna be suitable, or if it's not, we'll try and recommend something that is gonna be suitable, okay? So that's the CR Pro Kit. Sticking with the multi-manufacturer theme, we move on to the CR Max Kit. This is 
the best tool on the table hands down it covers everything that all of these tools can do in one fast intuitive tablet based tool you can see it looks a little bit different from all of these so this matches the service functionality of the version 3.0 tool so what this package gives you is the best in service functionality the best in manufacturer coverage and the best in system coverage within those vehicles it does all of your live data calibrations adaptions actuation tests component testing you name it it's a tablet so it'll do also your emails it'll do your apps it'll you can go online you can print email reports whether you're giving them to a customer or whether you're just putting them as part of your service history of your vehicle okay you'll get free lifetime updates with all of these tools uh, Autel and Xtool and some of the manufacturers will charge you per year after the first year for updates like 100, 150 pounds depending on the tool. You get free look updates for life with all of these tools. That is guaranteed, okay? So I'm gonna now tell you which of these tools I would buy if it was my personal money on my personal Honda vehicle. Uh, there's two tools, it all really depends on your specific circumstances, but if I was gonna buy a tool and I was just really interested in my Honda, uh, then it would definitely be this one here, the JP version 3.0 tool you get an added bonus that it covers some of the manufacturers as well some of the Japanese vehicles uh, if you're into your Jap stuff then this this is a really good option but you know it really does pack a lot of software a lot of functions into one tool um, that's kind of dedicated for Japanese vehicles at a, at, a, at a good price point as well okay so that's definitely what I'd recommend if I was just looking for a tool for my Honda if I was looking for a tool for my Honda and let's say I also had like a BMW an Audi a Seat uh, VW, I've said that, Volvo, Ford, Land Rover, something like that, then it would definitely be the CR Max kit. I understand that it is the most expensive tool on the table, but it's not bank breakingly expensive. Let's say you were going to buy this tool for your Honda and you also wanted this tool for your BMW, like the equivalent BMW tool. Two of these kits already costs more than this kit would cost. So, you know, you're going to be saving money and you've got unlimited manufacturers within this kit here okay so uh, that's what i'd recommend we, i also told you about the high-end tool this is the icos of the CR ultra kit um, this is like a really really high-end tool that will match what the dealers and the specialists can do so it is quite expensive it's about 1500 pounds but I, I wanted to put this in here because there are there are just some guys out there who just want the absolute best tool money can buy and money isn't always uh, an issue so if if you're lucky enough to fall into that category then the CR ultra is definitely something worth looking at but for most Honda enthusiasts or owners what we see on the table here right now is probably going to be suitable uh, for your needs but if you're still unsure and you still want to double check with us then please do use the email address we can check for you we can give you a recommendation based on your vehicle and what you're looking to get out of the tool what you're looking to do to your vehicle but we will pop links to all of these kits in the description below this video I hope this helps guys thanks for watching I'll see you on the next video